Um, some of the details I have left off because they're more shading details. So there are a lot of ridges in this roof that I'll add on as shading. Um, they're bricks. Uh, you wouldn't want to draw uh, all of the bricks because that ends up being awkward um, to try to shade in later. So some of those extra things are things that will come um, once I do the shading portion. But I have my drawing, it reasonably fills my paper. Um, I have the details that I need uh, to move forward in the shading process. So I am going to be transferring my drawing to a black sheet of drawing paper. So I have my black sheet of drawing paper. I'm going to be using something called transfer paper. So you can see that this paper has been used to transfer a different building drawing before. Um, the sheets are super reusable. Uh, they're in a folder to the pile of the black drawing paper. Um, the transfer paper has two sides. It has the side that has the white chalky dust on that needs to go down towards your drawing paper and the side that doesn't have the dust on that will go up towards your drawing. Um, so basically you're making a bit of a sandwich and having to redraw your drawing. So I need the dusty side to go down. So I'm just sliding this between my thumb and fingers to find out which side has the white powder on. The white powder right now is on the bottom side of the sheet. I'm going to put the dusty down. So I want that dusty side to go down to my black drawing paper. I'm then going to take my drawing and put it drawing side up so that I can see it. I like to put one paper clip on here just to kind of hold the three together. So I have my black, my transfer paper next, then it's dusty side down. So again, I can feel that dust and I put it down to my paper and my drawing up on the top. Uh, all I'm gonna do now is take a pencil, regular old pencil, and I am going to everything that I've drawn here on my drawing. Before I go too terribly far, I am going to stop. So I'm gonna stop. Let's double check that I have my transfer paper the white right way around. So what will happen now, if I've got it the right way around, is this, that it's like I'm drawing on the black paper with a white colored pencil. Um, this will allow me to transfer my drawing in such a way that I'm going to be able um, to finish in colored pencil very easily without having to worry about mistakes. Any changes that I need to make to the drawing I need to make them now out here on this white sheet so that I can effectively shade those in when it comes time on um, my completed or finished drawing. You want to look over, you want to make sure you're looking over your drawing on the white paper before you're transferring finished or that you're happy with it, that it has all the details you're going to need to um, make a great drawing. So. You're simply going to do this um, until, obviously, until you've gone over your entire, your down to the drawing paper. Um, that's it, pretty simple. From here, we'll be using our color scheme and creating the drawing uh, that you use the practice drawing scheme, color scheme for. But for right now, finish your drawing and transfer.